All important is our Conk Republic flag, which you see everybody getting. That flag was done by Mr. Valdez. He won a contest for the city in 1969, I believe it was. And that was incorporated to become the Conk Republic flag. So he is our so-called Betsy Ross. Without him, we would not have a flag. And we always at this like to honor Mr. Valdez as well, as he was an intricate part of our Conk Republic. So I think we should be just about at the crack of noon. Okay, we, we'll, we'll finish up with it. How are we on time? We at noon? Oh, see, Conk Republic time. Still two more minutes. You got, you got two more minutes of celebration from 2020. If you haven't finished your drink from 2020, please do so and refill it from something new. It's time. That's the official crow of the rooster that tells we're at our one minute warning. Yep, looks like sun's dead above, we can feel it. So I would like to officially start and welcome you to the 2021 Conk Republic Days and celebration of our great independence here. This was something that was, um, it took a lot of courage to do. Uh, and anytime something is being done in public, we use that courage from Mr. Wardlow to go ahead and take care of problems that they're having, whether somebody is in need, somebody else somewhere else, like such as the Bahamas needs help, whatever the case may be, the Conk Republic and its people will always be there. You can count on that for sure. Recognize people that are here uh, and representing, uh, we have our Secretary of State, Jim Gillerin, uh, who is an instrumental part in the Conk Republic and Conk Republic days. What I'd like to do is one of the important things of the Conk Republic, it's something that we stand by and the city of Key West stands by and we feel very, very adamant about this. That we are all one human family. One human family is very, very important. And I'd like to introduce to you the gentleman who created One Human Family that the city adopted as its official motto, Mr. JT. We've developed our own mindset down here. And on the first day of 2000, the city commission declared that the words One Human Family will be the official philosophy of the city of Key West, followed very quickly right after that by the county. And the message is real simple. It's not about politics. It's not about religion. It's as simple as your hand. All of our fingers look different. They might even look separate, but they are designed by our creator to work together as one. And we are all one human family. The person that I want to hear you applaud the loudest for is the person that started this all. And we would not be here today with this flag, with the island the way it is, and with the community without Dennis Wardlow. Welcome. Welcome to the Conk Republic. It's always great to see a lot of smiling faces. And uh, as JT said, we like to believe we're one human family. And my philosophy has always been live and let live. That's our motto of the Conk Republic. We started this 39 years ago, believe it or not, right here, when uh, the uh, government, the Border Patrol, put up a roadblock in Florida City and um, said that uh, no one could leave here. They were checking everybody as they went through uh, um, the end of the 18-mile uh, stretch into Homestead. And um, we had, uh, with that, we were losing a lot of revenue. And I'm going to digress a second here. Prior to that, we had the Mariel boat lift, which basically uh, destroyed our tourist industry. And that's what this is all about. Uh, Wednesday morning, I called uh, Mr. Dave Horan, who was an attorney here, he's still here, and I asked him if he could get an injunction in uh, the federal courthouse so we could get the Border Patrol either to decease or give us some information on what's going on. Uh, and then I called Virginia Penico, who was president of the Hotel Motel, 
and Mr. Ed Swift, who was then president of the, the chamber, and we had a meeting. And finally, uh, Dave called me back that night, and he said, this is Wednesday night, he said, Thursday morning, 9 a.m., we have a hearing at the federal courthouse in Miami. He made their statement. I asked if I could make a few statements, and uh, the judge acknowledged me. And so I asked the, the uh, Border Patrol just how long did they intend to keep this border checkpoint point up. And uh, with that, uh, the judge had looked at me and said, that's a good question. And then I said, there's one other thing I'd like to ask. How many illegal aliens did you find going through that checkpoint back into Homestead? And they said, well, we found four. Two from Germany, two from France, and they had left their green cards at the hotel back there. I said, well, that's, that's impressive. He said, well, we found about three pounds of marijuana on the side of the road. I said, well, what damn fool's going to sit in a 23-mile traffic jam with their truck or their car full of uh, grass? So the judge looks at me and says, Mr. May, I tend to agree with you. Well, I want to know one more thing, with your permission. How long do they intend to keep this checkpoint? That's when the Border Patrol unfolds this blueprint to erect a permanent checkpoint at the end of the 18-mile stretch in front of the Last Chance Bar where you could either go 18 mile or to Cod Sound. Uh, and, and I was stunned, and I think the judge was stunned because he lived in Ocean Reef, but he had to go through there. And uh, so when it was over, the judge said, I can't stop them from putting the checkpoint. I don't have that authority, but I can stop them from creating a traffic jam. He comes up and he sticks his mic in my face, and he says, Mr. Mayor, now that you've lost your case, what are you going to do? And I look over at Virginia, and she had a small record of the, the flag, and I said, this was Thursday, probably around noon, I said, tomorrow, Friday at noon, we are going to secede and become the concrete public. If you're going to treat us as a foreign country, we're going to become a foreign country. All right, so let us get ready to raise our flag. You might be noticing um, that we're there's, there might be a few people missing. Our Admiral Finbar, who is out on patrol with a lot of the other military, you'll you'll see them out and about patrolling and protecting our our, our borders. Gather around the flag. And I'll remind everybody that we will do a it's a left-handed salute to the flag. All right. Everybody, salute flag. And as your Speaker of the House for the Conk Republic, I'd like to pronounce 2021 Conk Republic Days and Independence Celebration officially started. <laughs> 